What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you guys are new. Today I am back with Ghost. Uh, I got some window visors to be installing in this video and then I also picked up a gurney flap. Thank you to FB6 underscore Isaac. I'll be uh, tagging him probably on Instagram. And yeah, he sent it over. It was a cheaper price than brand new and he didn't want any more. So why not? I'll throw it on my car. I've always wanted it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we got here the gurney flap. The gurney flap is going to be originally from Car Use Design. This sits right on the OEM SI wing just to give it a little extra downforce, but I just like it. I like how it looks. Then we got the two Mugen style window visors that are going to be sitting on each side of the car. Comes with 3M tape on both the gurney flap and the uh, window visor. So let's go ahead and install them. All right, guys, so to prep the area where you're going to be putting the window seal or the window visor, I mean, we're going to be putting some streak free uh, from Kimmel, guys. All you need is a microfiber towel just to wipe off any dust or anything that's on there, uh, just so that the adhesive doesn't like get stuck to like a little piece of dirt and that little piece isn't getting stuck anymore and it'll fly off on like the freeway or something so it's always best just to clean off an area anytime you're using 3M tape. And then once you have it already cleaned up you're gonna want to grab your first window visor and then with these ends, what I like to do is peel up just like a little bit of it on the corner, just enough to fold it up. So that way when you put it on, you're going to be seeing the red tags on where it goes. And that way if you mess up or you need like a little bit of wiggle room, you can always wiggle it and then peel the rest of it off and uh, make sure it gets stuck. So again, the other side. We're going to be peeling off both of them just so we can pull them off once we're fitting it onto the car. Now all you got to do is kind of eyeball where you would want it to fit. Like right here looks pretty good to me. So all you got to do is just start peeling. You can start on either this side or this side. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take off this bottom one first since it's so tiny. So now get it aligned again. down and then just go pulling on the red piece and lining it up pull again and apply pressure pull a little bit more apply some more pressure I kept this plastic film that they have on it. Uh, I left it on just so that way I wouldn't leave my fingerprints and I could just take it off easily at the end. So just keep going the whole rest of the way until you take it all the way off and you press it all the way down so that way every little piece of sticky tape will get stuck to it. And there you have it, you'll have the first one installed. Just taking off the plastic. And that's what it looks like. Alright guys, so I have the other window visor that's going to be for the back side of it. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them, try to do a time lapse for you guys. but. Basically, it's, that's the gist of it, just taking off these red things very carefully, lining it up kind of however you uh, would like it to fit, and yeah, I'll go ahead and do the rest of them uh, in a time lapse.
right guys so that's gonna be the end of the video thank you so much for watching all the way through if you did that's gonna be window visors fully done and the gurney flap uh, please make sure to like the video subscribe if you can and uh, share the video also just uh, help out the channel because I know there isn't that many people watching so far but who knows maybe if you share it to like a few people they'll share it as well and we'll get a good amount of people to watch so yeah see you in the next one